welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course sandhi in paninian grammar in this lecture we continue studying the hal sandhi or the consonant sandhi hal is a consonant and hal sandhi is the sandhi that replaces the consonant we classified hal sandhi broadly into two ekasthanik ekadesha and ekasthanik dvyadesha ekasthanik ekadesha is one substituent replaced by one substitute and ekasthanik dvyadesha is one substituent replaced by two substitutes ekasthanik ekadesha is further classified into two purva nimittaka ekasthanik ekadesha and para nimittaka ekasthanik ekadesha currently we are dealing with para nimittaka ekasthanik ekadesha mainly and this can be described in the form of a diagram where we have a plus b in the samhita mode where b is the para nimitta a is purva and in the environment of b a is substituted by c so this is para nimitta ka ek sthanik ekadesha this is para nimitta this is ek sthani this is ek adesha so a plus b is the input and c plus b is the output the next sandhi that we are studying after we studied the shutva sandhi is shtutva sandhi this is stated by the sutra shtuna shtuhu 8441 the sutra shtunashtuhu consists of two padas shtuna and shtuhu shtuna is instrumental singular of shtu shtu compose consists of sh and tu tu means tavarga tavarga stands for the five consonants t th d dh n so shtuna means in association with or in combination of sh and tu that is tavarga that is t th d dh n shtu who is 1/1 of shtu which is of course once again composed of sh and tu so shtu who means the substitute shtu stoho is the word that is continued from 8440 stoho shtunashchu stoho is 6/1 of stu and stu composed stu is composed of s and tu tu means tavarga and tavarga means tatha dadha na so stoho means in place of stu having put all these together the meaning of shtunashtuhu is the following in the close proximity of sounds in the combination of sh and tu in place of stu substitute sh and tu i repeat in the close proximity of sounds samhitayam in the combination of sh and tu shtuna shtu is composed of sh and tu tu means tavarga tavarga means tathadadhana in place of stu stu is composed of sa and tu tu means tavarga tavarga means tathadadhana substitute sh 
and 2 tavarga that is ta ta da da na so in the close proximity of sounds samhitayam in the combination of sh and tu stuna in place of stu stoho substitute sh and tu stuhu this is the meaning of stuna stuhu the sutra stating the stuttva sandhi we note that the principle of yatha sankhya our correspondence also functions in this particular sutra just as it operated in the previous sutra stohoschuna schuhu what we mean to say is that there is yatha sankhya relation that exists between sthani or karyi and adesha or karya so sthani and adesha or karyi and karya amongst these pairs yatha sankhya exists we also note that also in this particular sutra there is nimitta of similar numbers but there is no yatha sankhya between the nimitta and the sthani as well as nimitta and the adesha nimitta and sthani or karyi and nimitta and adesha or karya they do not share this yatha sankhya relationship so yatha sankhya relationship can be shown in the form of an equation in this manner so if we have two followed by sa in the samhita mode then this sa will be replaced by the consonant sh in the left hand side environment of two similarly if we have two plus na na occurs at the fifth position in the tavarga and so this na will be replaced by the fifth consonant in the set of the adesha namely na this is how yatha sankhya principle will work now if we have para nimittaka ekasthanika ekadesha this was the case where the nimitta of was purva so purva nimittaka ekasthanika ekadesha now in this case where you have the nimitta para and this para nimitta is causing the substitution sa then the substitute that comes in place of this sa is sh similarly if you have ta plus sh2 then since ta occurs at the first position in the tavarga this ta will get substituted by the first member that occurs in the tavarga that is ta so ta plus sh2 will be the input and ta plus sh2 will be the template output then we have the plus sh2 and similarly because the occupies the third position in the tavarga so this the will be substituted by the third consonant d in the tavarga this is how the yatha sankhya principle will work the nimitta and the sthani or karyi they do not have any yatha sankhya relation now let us also take a closer look at the peculiar mention of the word stuna stuna is a very peculiar usage because this is instrumental singular that is stated by panini and this case indicates the environment for the 
substitution to take place. But this third case neither indicates only the left hand side environment nor only the right hand side environment. This was what was done by the fifth case and the seventh case. The third case Trutiya indicates both left hand side as well as right hand side environments for the substitution to take place. That is why this is peculiar. So, 2 will be both left hand side as well as right hand side environment for Shtutva Sandhi to take place. So, we can have 2 plus 2 as the input where 2 acts as the left hand side environment or Purva Nimitta, but then this 2 will still be substituted by Shtu and the output will be Shtu plus Shtu. This is called Purva Nimittaka Ekasthanika Ekadesha and when we have Stu plus Shtu where Shtu is the Nimitta but this is Para Nimitta now even in this case Stu will be substituted by Shtu. This is called Para Nimittaka Ekasthanika Ekadesha. Here are the template examples. So, if you have sh plus sh as the input and the nimittas are all purvas, purva nimittaka ekasthanika ekadesha. So, we have sh plus sh and the generated output would be sh plus sh. Similarly, sh plus t and the output would be sh plus t. Remember the Nimitta and the Sthani or the Kari, there is no Yatha Sankhya Nyaya. But between the Sthani and the Adesha, between the Kari and the Karya, there is Yatha Sankhya. So, Ta gets substituted only by Ta and nothing else. Tha with Tha, the with Da, Dha with Dha and Na with na. Then when we look at the paranimittaka ekasthanika ekadesha, we have sa plus sh and this will be substituted by sh plus sh. Sa plus t will be the input and the output generated will be sh plus t. Sa plus th will be the input and the output would be sh plus th. Similarly, sa plus d as input and the output would be sh plus d. Sa plus d will be the input and the output will be sh plus d. And sa plus n will be the input and the output would be sh plus n. Then we have tatha dadhana plus sh. Tavarga plus sh, tu plus sh, and the output would be tathadadhana plus sh, that is tavarga plus sh, that is tu plus sh. Similarly, tathadadhana plus t, tu plus t, and the output generated would be tathadadhana plus t, that is tavarga plus t, that is tu plus t. Then we have tathadadhana plus t. And the output would be tatha dadhana plus th. Then we have tatha dadhana plus d, and the output generated is tatha dadhana plus d. Then tatha dadhana plus d, and the output would be tatha dadhana plus d. And finally, we have tatha dadhana plus n as the input, and the output is tatha dadhana plus n. Let us first study the Purva Nimittaka Ekasthanika Ekadesha, where we have sh followed by s, and the template output is sh plus sh. Sh is substituting s. However, we must note that this output does not result due to the application of other rules stated earlier in the Asiddha section 
of Paninian grammar. So, Sutra 8241 Shadhokasi states that substitute k comes in place of sh in the environment of s. This is obligatory, always this happens where k comes in place of sh. So, if we have an example, this plus s plus t, which is the future tense, this plus s plus t, this sh, then we have this plus s plus t, and then this sh will be substituted by sh. So, we have this s t, now we have sh followed by s. In this case, this sh will be immediately substituted by k. So, we have dek, shir, t, then this sir will be substituted by shir and we have dek, shir, t and when we join them together, we will get the form dek, shir, t. So, shir plus sir has got no desired output, template output as is shown on this particular slide's title. Next, we move to sh plus t and the output is, is sh plus t. So, we have the example dusha plus t where sh is immediately followed by t. Since this is within a pada, the samhita is obligatory. So, this sh is the nimitta and t consonant is the kari or sthani and this t is substituted by t. So, we have dus, dush plus t and dush t. Similarly, dus, dush plus tavya. Once again, we have dosh plus tavya and then this t is substituted by t. So, we have dosh tavya. Then we have sh plus th and th being substituted by th. So, the famous word shashth is derived by adding the suffix a after the word shash. And then once you add a, Paninian grammar adds the augment th to this a. So, we have shash plus th and a. Now, this th is substituted by th. So, the output generated by the sutra is shash plus th plus a and so we will get shash th. Shat kati kati paya chaturam thuk. This is the sutra that states the agama th. Then we go to the next example, sh plus the, sh followed by the which is the input and 8441 applies and the output generated is sh plus d. So, we have the example where we have mush plus dand. This is a compound. So, samhita is obligatory. So, this sh follows this d and so in place of this d now, we will have to substitute the third consonant of the t verb which is d. But first we will have sh being substituted by d and this will be triggered by the sutra jhalam jashonte which we have already studied before. So, we will have the next step mud plus danda and then this d will trigger the sutra 8441 because of which d will be substituted by d and we will get the form mud dunder. Then we have sh followed by dh and the output is sh followed by dh. However, this sh gets substituted by dh. So, we have mush followed by dhana and then this sh will be first substituted by dh mud plus dhana and then 8441 applies and substitutes dh by dh and so we will have mud plus dhana, the output would be 
muddhana then we have then we have sha plus na and na is substituted by na so we have yushan plus as and the next step is deletion of a after sh over here so we have yush na and as and then this na comes in the samhita mode with sh and so na gets substituted by na and so we have yushnas yushna actually in this environment sh plus na 841 will apply first rashabhyam nona samana pade and will generate the same result that is na will be substituted by na so we can say that 8441 is redundant in this particular case now after having looked at the purva nimittaka ekasthanika ekadesha let us look at the para nimittaka ekasthanika ekadesh so we have sh plus sh as the input and the output is sh plus sh so we have haris plus shashtah here sh appears at the end of a pad and so this sandhi is in between two pads as part of the sentential combination so we have haris plus shashtah and the output generated would be harish and shashtah so when we join them together we get harish shashtah similarly you have manas plus shakara as a part of a compound and so sa will be substituted by sh and you will get manas shakara then we have sa followed by t as the input and the output is sh followed by t so we have hares tika here the sandhi happens in between two padas this is part of the sentence so we have hares plus tika and the output generated is haresh tika where sh substitutes s so we have haresh tika there is a sutra written by panini charestaha so here we have charas followed by tah where sa is followed by t and so we have this sa being substituted by sh so we have charesh and tah so charesh tah similarly manas plus taker and this sa will be substituted by sh by the application of 8441 so we have manas plus taker manas taker then we have sa plus th as input 8441 applies and the output generated is sh plus th so we have payas plus thak as the input and this uh, will be substituted by sh and so we have payas plus thak payas thak will be the output similarly we have sa plus d as the input and the output generated is sh plus d so we have hares and dapaha and the output generated is haresh and dapaha so haresh dapaha this will be the output then sh plus d as the input and sh plus d as the output so we have haris plus dhaukate this is the example between the two words that is part of the sentence so we have haris plus dhaukate and 8441 applies and now this sir will be substituted by sh and so we'll get harish dhaukate as the output harish dhaukate this is the output and finally we have sir followed by na and in this environment 8441 applies and substitutes s by sh so we have sh plus n as the output so we have hares plus nakaraha once again this is the example of 
the sandhi that takes between two padas as part of the sentential combination. So we have hares plus sanakaraha and the output generated by the application of 8441 is Haresh and Nakaraha. So we have Haresh Nakaraha. To summarize, we studied the second type of part of Sandhi, namely Shtutva Sandhi. We studied the Sutra that states this Shtutva Sandhi, namely Shtunashtuhu. We also understood the literal meaning of the sutra. We also explained the meaning of the third vibhakti, third case, tritiya vibhakti. And then we studied paranimittaka ekadesha, ekasthanika ekadesha mainly. We noted down the template examples and studied the specific examples as well. We also studied the purva nimittaka ekasthanika ekadesha. And we noted that these specific examples showed that the Sandhi happens at different levels. Be it in between two Padas, external Sandhi or be it in between the Pada, internal Sandhi. We also noted that in cases of some inputs, the combination outputs are not possible there the rule enjoys redundancy. Now we study next the remaining examples of Shtutva Sandhi in the next lecture. Thank you for your attention.